Hello, today we are looking at Enviro Sky and Weather. If you're sick and tired of having a static skybox and directional light as your sun, then this package has you covered. It includes full day and night cycles, and a bunch of weather types as default. You can also customize it quite heavily and completely change the time scale, weather patterns, and even set up seasons. So uh, let's import this and get started. Uh, we're going to be importing it into our previous project. So if you haven't watched that, I highly recommend watching that first. Uh, it was on Gaia, which is a terrain system. Enviro works really well with Gaia, so that's why I'm just going to bring it into that same project to save us some time. Okay, so here is our island that we created in the previous video. Let's get started by having a look through exactly what you get in the Enviro package. Okay, so the documentation file um, provides a link to uh, where you can get the PDF online. There's update notes and version notes. Under prefabs, uh, there's this Enviro Sky object. So uh, if you want to do this a simple way, you can just drag that straight into your scene and uh, that will set up most things. Uh, because we're using Guy, we'll do it a different way, which I'll show you shortly. There's a samples folder with a sample scene, so let's open that up and see what we get there. Okay, so it's uh, mostly an empty scene. Uh, we have full control over the time, the seasons, the weather. And there's also sound effects which I've just turned on for you as well, so hopefully you'll be able to hear those. Okay, so let's change the weather a bit. Uh, let's now make it cloudy. And look at the clouds rolling, that's really pretty. You can see with the time we're getting towards um, the afternoon, so the sky is getting a bit um, pinky around the horizon. Oh, and we just transitioned into uh, light rain. So there's a lot of good shaders for rain effects in here as well. Let's try foggy. Okay, the fog effect really isn't that great. Uh, this package does have integration with fog volume though, so if you want to get some better fog you can do it that way. Let's uh, go back to daytime somewhere. Somewhere around here. Now let's try heavy snow. Okay, so we have snow effects too. Uh, if you're using a terrain shader like CTS, uh, you'll also be able to um, make changes to the terrain shading. So uh, when it snows, you can actually put snow on the ground. When we get to reviewing CTS, I'll show you how to do that. We can have a storm if we want to, to be a bit darker and have some uh, thunder and lightning effects. And back to clear skies. Okay. Now if we come back to our previous scene uh, that we made with Gaia, and into the Gaia Manager, there's this GX tab. And this is for any uh, compatible products. So if we have a look in here, we can see Enviro is a compatible product. So we can open that out and all we need to do is click one button and we've now added Enviro to the scene. We're going to run the application, we now have an Enviro environment. We can already see the sun's moving across the sky because the time scale is rather fast at the moment. There's a little bit of haze but mostly it's a clear sunny day. But once again we only press one button to do all that which is pretty cool. There's a lot of different ways you're going to be able to control the weather. Um, if I have a look on the Enviro Sky object, you can see a bunch of these settings. So if we want right now we can change uh, the weather in our scene. And that's just uh, automatically updated. And even the uh, wind will pick up now and these trees will start moving a lot more. So it does its best to create the most realistic environment that um, it possibly can. Okay, so Enviro is worth $50 on the asset store at the moment, which uh, I think is a pretty good deal considering uh, all the environments that you get uh, just by default. It adds so much more atmosphere to the game and it's very easy to work with. The product was originally released in um, April 2015 latest update was November 28th, so that's pretty much five days ago. It's um, very heavily supported and it's compatible with a bunch of different products. So if we have a look under the scripts folder, you can see Aquas integration, CTS integration, Fog Volume 3 integration, Gaia integration, Lux integration, 
Megasplat, Network, Pegasus, Playmaker, RTP, Uber, World API. So as you can see, the development team behind Enviro are very much uh, in the community and working with uh, other great asset makers to make your experience as seamless as possible. So with all that in mind, it's another big thumbs up from me. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.